<clears throat> this is freshman scholarship at Gangnang Wonju National University in South Korea. I'll let me share the link with you and the chat. Here we go. If you want to study in South Korea, this might be a good option for you. Um, yeah. Now, this is uh, for bachelors. Uh, it's in Gangnam Gwangju National University. Um, it's full tuition. There are no specific nationalities or subjects. And as you can see, the admission deadline is July 31. What it covers now, um, this, there are like similar scholarships in other schools as well. Basically, uh, you, um, you enter a proficiency test, Korean language proficiency test. And if you get like based on your level, you get a tuition fee reduction. And if you get like level four, you get 80%. If you get level five, you get 100% of tuition fees covered by the scholarship. And as you can see, uh, there are like for level three or um, English proficiency test, like as you can see, these are uh, like they give you very uh, specific detailed information about that one too. But basically, if you have a high uh, le Korean language proficiency, so if you take time to learn uh, Korean language before uh, applying to the university, if you want to study in South Korea, of course, um, it will cover your uh, tuition fees. Now, uh, one thing to keep in mind that um, as you can see, the eligibility criteria is uh, pretty much the same thing. And if you want to find the perfect scholarship for yourself, go to our website globalscholarships.com and use our free search tool. Type in the program, university or the country you are interested in and see all the available scholarships. Use our filters to find the most suitable scholarship for yourself. It's completely free and doesn't even require registration. Find the perfect scholarship right now. South Korean universities usually don't have extremely high tuition fees. Uh, as you can see here, it is, is about like six, like seven million South Korean ones, which is about, I believe, I don't know, five, six thousand dollars, which is not extremely high, but still could be uh, quite uh, unaffordable for a lot of people, right? And now one thing is that like uh, there are tuition. Uh, full tuition scholarships uh, in other schools as well, but uh, this in, this university is not in, uh, for example, uh, Seoul or like more uh, expensive places in South Korea, right? Let's see the university. So that this is one of the reasons this might be a, a reasonable opportunity for a lot of people, uh, because one of the things about uh, one thing about uh, studying in South Korea is that uh, a lot of the cities are really high for example if you want to study in seoul uh it's really high it's one of the most expensive places in the world uh, so like you would go to a university in seoul then like you wouldn't have to pay for example if you got a scholarship like this you wouldn't have to pay for um tuition fees your tuitions tuition w would be covered uh by the scholarship but then you would have to pay um, like maybe twice that amount for your living costs uh, so this is not in a, a very central place so it would be way more affordable like your living costs would be way lower than that of um seoul let's say so this might be a good opportunity for you um, like if you want to study in south korea maybe you can just uh, afford tuition fees but the living costs is just too much for you this might be a good idea. Your university is not like that high ranking, uh, one of the higher ranking universities, but it's a good university. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the university. And unfortunately, we cannot get more information uh, about the university, about the, about the scholarship, because um, the page doesn't really work. Uh, it was working when I picked this one, but before the live stream, I tried it and no but it's pretty much like what we have here um, as you can see like um, based on your proficiency and the in korean language you get a tuition fee reduction it's quite straightforward in that sense and yeah so if you want to study in south korea it's an affordable option uh, and it's it's a scholarship that makes it even more affordable so yeah that's pretty much it
Anyone do you want to add anything about this one? Um, yeah, so as you mentioned, the link is down for this one. Mm -hmm. um, and I've tried to find the new link, but their website is quite slow. Uh, for some reason, maybe it's maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so other than that, I think someone last week asked us about scholarships in South Korea, and we mentioned the scholarships awarded on the basis of your language proficiency score, and this mm -hmm. is one of them. Uh, so whether you have taken uh, the topic, uh, which is the uh, Korean language proficiency test, uh, mm -hmm. or any English proficiency test, like including uh, TOEFL, uh, IELTS, uh, and other exams, uh, you can be awarded a scholarship. So for this one, the scholarship for the Korean language proficiency test is higher than the one for the English proficiency test. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not always the case. Like uh, most of the time, they are equivalent. Uh, in other universities, so it would be 100% as well for a high TOEFL IELTS score, uh, same as uh, the Korean proficiency score. Um, yeah, so this is just the small difference between this scholarship and other scholarships offered at Korean universities. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I think it's just the uh, usual reminder that do not rely on the English website for these yeah. universities, but try to go to the uh, website in Korean and then uh, just use your browser to translate the page and uh, try to find scholarships there because they have the most up-to-date information on their Korean website. 